Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cupboard, I'm Penge, and welcome to Fata Deum, or Fata Deum, or Fata Deum possibly, I'm not entirely sure how to pronounce the name of this game, we'll go for Fata Deum, I think that sounds about right. So this is a sort of god simulator game where we float around the godly being and we have to influence mortals down on the ground to worship us, and we can use our divine powers to bless them or curse them as we see fit, and we can do things like help them harvest resources, we can influence their dreams, we can suggest new buildings, their settlements, all that kind of stuff, and our actions change what is going on down on the ground. So if we're a lovely godly being, then all the mortal villages are bright and happy and jolly and they have parties and such like, whereas if we're an evil godly being, then everything down on the ground will look a little bit more sinister and twisted and unpleasant. It's a bit like, I suppose, the now very old game Black and White, which was fantastic. That was a really, really good game. I played that an awful lot, but that had similar concepts of good and evil to keep your followers under control control and the world and buildings would change to suit your playstyle. Now this is the demo of the game which is not available right now as this video goes out but it will be available as part of the upcoming Steam Next Fest event which runs from the 21st to the 28th of February and if you're interested then of course there is a link to the Steam Store page in the video description below. But anyway time to dive in I think, let's just get on with it and go and do some godding. Okay so when we start a new game the only option we have is to choose what enemy god we'd like to go up against and then of course we have to try and compete for the attention and the affection of the mortals with that other god. So we can choose to play against either the enemy god of deceit, the enemy god of pleasure, the enemy god of fertility, or the enemy god of violence. So I would say that the enemy gods of violence and deceit, they're going to be using the slightly more evil godly powers, whereas the enemy gods of pleasure and fertility are going to be using the slightly good godly powers, I would imagine, maybe more often than not. So we're going to play as a nice god. We're going to use all the good, positive, kind of happy, upbeat powers. So I don't think we should play against the enemy gods of fertility or pleasure, because they're likely to be doing the same sorts of things. So I think it's either the enemy god of violence or the enemy god of deceit. Let's go up against the enemy god of deceit. That sounds all very intriguing, doesn't it? So we can have a proper kind of, you know, good versus evil type of showdown. There we go. That sounds good. Let's go and face off against deceit. Okay, so here we go. And unfortunately, I cannot confirm that spacebar is pause because alas, it is not. Instead, to pause the game, we have to go up here and click on this kind of clock thing up in the corner, which is a bit of a shame. So you know what? Room for improvement there, game, I feel. But anyway, let's take a quick look around, shall we? Now, you might notice that everything looks a little bit kind of fuzzy around the edge right now and that's because we have paused time. We've used our godly powers to pause time and when you do that it kind of puts this sort of grainy effect over everything but we've paused time because the demo only lasts for six days. That is it. We get to the end of day number six and the demo finishes. It is over. We can't come back to it. We can't save or reload or anything like that. So I thought rather than waste a load of time while I'm waffling on a bit like I am right now, I thought we should probably pause it just so we don't waste a load of hours whilst nothing is going on. However, I do think we need to unpause it just so we can see what the world looks like properly. So here we go, let's unpause things. And it's really pretty. It looks really, really nice. There's lots of little settlements dotted around the place. There's people wandering about. Hello, persons. That's Lauren Ardes just sort of wandering about. And there's a well and there's farms and houses. It's all very, very pretty. It looks wonderful. There's a house there that's on an amazing angle. Wow. Okay, that's spectacular. How has that not fallen down? How has that not fallen down? That's that's very impressive. What's the furniture like in there? <laughs> like how does this person, I don't know, drink? Because surely if they put a cup down on a table, the cup's just going to slide off the end of the table. Maybe they have special kind of furniture with legs that are shorter at one end than the other or something on their tables and chairs. I don't know, but there we go. So it's very pretty. Now, this is just one settlement. That is one settlement. If we zoom out, we can see that the actual map is huge. It's a great big, huge map. There's another settlement over there. And I think there are a few others dotted around the place. Yeah, there's a kind of village over there. So there are a few dotted around the place. And over here, this is our kind of shrine thingamajig. This represents us. So we're this kind of wibbly ball of stuff just here. And yeah, that's good. Hello, us, wibbly ball of stuff. However, if we look over there, we can see the enemy. So let's just sort of float over and go and see what's going on with the enemy. So they're over. Oh, crikey. Oh, that, okay, that went a bit weird. Remember demo version, early access and all that kind of stuff. So if we go over here and see deceit. I mean, yeah, look, the nearer we get to deceit, it goes a bit green. It goes a bit green and a bit unpleasant and a little bit kind of horrid. So yeah, it's not very nice over here. 
Deceit is using all sorts of kind of evil, dark, magic-y stuff. And we're going to go back over here to where it's a bit jollier and brighter and happier. So there we go. Let's go back to this town over here with the amazing kind of uh, gravity-defying house just there. So, uh, yeah, so we've got ourselves. I think this up here means the number of followers we have. So up there we can see that Deceit has four followers. So four people believe in Deceit over there, boo. And two people at the moment believe in us. So we need to get that up a bit. We need to get a little bit more belief going on. So over here we have our mana. So our mana is kind of just like our magic power. So we use that to do our sort of magical godly things. And then I think down here, yeah, we have Yin and Yang. So Yin is the power we gain from casting evil wonders, and Yang is the power we gain from casting good wonders, which is all very exciting. So here we go. Let's go and make some people believe in us, I feel. So I don't know. There's some people over here. So let's see. You just there. Oh, we, we saw you earlier. Okay, so here we go. So Lauren Ardes. So if we click on you. Oh, by the way, our little, um, our little cursor isn't just a dramatic cursor. It's an imp. It's kind of like a living creature, and that can go and sort of pick things up and help out a bit. But yeah, we haven't quite got there yet. What's that doing over there? There's an ongoing wonder happening over there. They're hitting people with lightning. Boo! Okay, right. So, see, look, they're bad. They're bad. And now they're oppressing people. Help, help, they're being oppressed. Um, okay, right, so let's let's do some nice godly powers. Over here is going to be lovely. So, uh, okay, so Barony Glenson. Okay, so you over here working in the fields. Um, if we look down here... We can see that we can use the spread, love, ability, whatever is magical power, belief, thingamajig. But if we press a space bar, it turns to the evil equivalent. So this one here says, sends a vision of good things happening to your worshippers. So that there makes them think of happy things. But then if we do the fear one, it sends visions of bad things happening. Uh, so what does that do? That gives us six belief points if we go and scare them. But if we spread love, reduce belief points bonus, if mortal already believes, plus six belief points. Okay, so they don't believe in us right now, I don't think. But let's do this anyway. So we can click this, and if we click and hold it, we do it even more. We kind of cast a stronger version. So we might as well do that now. So we'll do that, and we'll do that again. So now, they believe in us, I believe. Because, yeah, we've got a kind of sparkly, kind of golden side to it. I think, possibly. Although that hasn't gone up. Okay, I will admit, I don't know what the numbers mean then. I'm not entirely sure what that number is. <laughs> but there we go. So that person is now very happy. So let's see if we can get this on somebody else. There was a person... Hang on. Hey, you. You'll do. Come here. Uh, okay, Laradi Linson. Um, oh, not enough time. Oh, they're all going to bed. Oh, there we go. Right, here we go. So now they're going to bed. Hang on a second. We're already on, we're already on day two. Hang on. <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Click, click the clock. We can't... Oh, okay, we can't click the clock. Okay, never mind. Right, so here we go. Let's manipulate this settlement, but in a happy sort of way. So we can click on this and we can say, okay, uh, we think that they should reduce their workload so they can just relax for a bit. Uh, we can get them to increase their workload. We can get them to share some food, share some wood, establish an outpost, establish a new village, or go and do some looting or do nothing at all. How about for now... We just let them reduce their workload. And there we go. Look, we just did some sort of magical stuff. And um, then, yeah, they believe in us a little bit more, which is very nice. And our thing has gone up to three. That's got to be a good sign. And then over here, build a basic building. Decide what building the mortal shall build. Um, so uh, raise some trees. Uh, plan a residence. Okay. So how about, yeah, we could do that. We'll build some shacks. Okay, that's nice. Build a tavern. Yeah, that sounds like a fun thing to do. Yes, let's say build a tavern. Okay, so now we've said build a tavern over there. And they put the basic materials down. And now the people from the village are going to go and build that. So we don't build that. We kind of just, yeah, we merely suggest and insinuate they should do that. And now we have 65 yang points. But alas, we don't have much in the way of mana. So we can't do too much. But um, yeah, okay, that's fine now. Have we got anybody wandering about? Or can we not do anything at night time other than just do these things? Okay, how about then we go over here? Can we do anything with this? Can we maybe suggest... Uh, no, we don't have enough mana anymore. We haven't got enough kind of magical belief power down here. We're running a little bit low. Okay, no, that's fun. That's okay. That's okay. So I think it said spacebar skips the night time, didn't it? Which just feels wrong. But okay, let's press spacebar to skip... Oh, hang on, there's a person. Hello, person. Um... My great immortal. Send this mortal to a better place. Oh, okay. 
And I don't want to do that. I quite like these people. Oh, it's Barony that lives in the House of Gravity Defiance. Okay, that's good. Um, yeah, we can't do anything to you either. Okay, that's fine. That's okay. Um, right, so I think, I think that's it. I think we need to get our mana back up. And then we need to start influencing more people to actually believe in it. So I think, yeah, let's press the space bar. So that can skip through. So there we go. So yeah, mana is is coming down, but I think it should start ticking up. During the day, each god receives mana over time based on the number of followers and based on the followers praying at temples. Okay, so can we now go down to here? And yeah, here we go. So we can spread the love. So let's uh, make this person believe in us possibly. So there we go. And again, so that's 16 mana, but now we have another believer. Believes in us. There we go. A lovely kind of blue sparkly thing. So now I think we want to do the same to you, but we need... It's good when we do it twice. We have that kind of double effect. So maybe we'll wait until we get 60 mana. Meanwhile, we can see what they're doing. They're oppressing people. See, it's terrible over there. It sounds awful. What a miserable place to be. Come over here. Okay, so 15 and 16. Okay, so let's do this to you. So a point and a point. And now do they believe in us? They believe in Mother Nature still. Okay, so they've not quite got to the point where they believe in us yet. And we can only do this to one person... Uh, to you know, them once per day. So the moment Isita is still believing in Mother Nature. Okay, never mind. Right, let's find somebody else. So Laradi, yeah, Laradi believes in Mother Nature. We need to sort that out. So let's get up to um, whatever it was, 16 points, whatever it was. Here we go. So 16 mana. Yeah, we need you to not believe in Mother Nature, please. Well, it's only seven each time and seven. Do you believe in us? Yes. There you go. They believe in us. Oh, it is the amount of followers. It is the amount of followers. Okay, this is good. So now that's going to start ticking up even more. Oh, and we have a prayer. I beseech thee, my happiness depends on this. Um, okay, so do we say yes? Accept the prayer. So Arathus Kenstein needs to be converted over to our belief. Uh, okay, how do I find them? <laughs> Where is Arathus Kenstein or whoever it was. Oh, is it that? And that's Tyke Fullen. There, you. Okay, right, let's work on you then. So there we go. And six and six. And I think the more people that believe in us, the cheaper all of our things cost. However, they still believe in Mother Nature, which is somewhat unfortunate. They believe in us. We need some more belief, I feel. I think we need some more belief. We can do it again to somebody. Is there anybody around? You. You'll do it. Or they, you believe in us anyway. Oh, botherations. Okay. Is there anybody else? And when we could go and work on another settlement, um, Lauren, they believe in us. Let's go over to this settlement down here because I don't think Deceit has got their evil sinister claws into these folks yet. So here we go, you. You believe in Mother Nature. Now let's see if you would like to believe in you know, a proper god. But yeah, because we've not worked on this place before, it does take up quite a lot of our mana to get these people believing in us. But there we go. They believe in us. Um... I think maybe it's going to cost 13 mana. 13. Oh, crikey. Okay, now you go about your business for now. Don't let me stop you for now. Because, um, yeah, that's that's quite, that's quite slow. Do you know what we could do? Hang on, hang on. We could pick up a tree. If I can remember how to do it. I did do the tutorial. Um, hang on a minute. So I think it's that. There we go. So we're going to send our imp thing to hover over a tree. And then, I think, can we, can we magic it? Cannot be collected. Reach level one. Oh, no, we can't do it yet. We're not level one, apparently. We need one, minus one more follower to reach the next level. Okay, that seems a bit confusing. Maybe we level up at night time or something. I don't know. Uh, right, you. Just there. Uh, let's spread the love with you. So there we go. And again, do you believe in us? You still believe in Mother Nature? No. <laughs> Wrong. Incorrect. Okay, let's try and do this to somebody else. Because there's plenty of people. They believe in us. Okay, what about you? Let's just do that once to you, because I don't think we have the mana. Uh, no, you still believe in Mother Nature, but we're getting there. We're getting there. So we'll work on these places. We'll work on that one, and we'll work on... Uh, hang on, I think we can... Can we right-click to zoom up here somewhere? Yeah, there we go. We can sort of right-click and move about if we want to. Okay, so there we go. Right, is there anybody up here? Anybody that we've not worked on? Oh, they've built the thing. They've built the tavern. Oh, that's really good. Look at this place. That is amazing. It's got a little table. It's got potions out the front and all sorts. Oh, that's very pretty. Okay, now it's going to get to nighttime. Is there anybody that we've not sort of used our divine powers on today? 
Uh, we have done it on you. What about you? And you. And... Okay, right. I think it's gone to... I think it's bedtime. I think it's getting a bit late in the day. Um, are you already believe in us? Yeah, we've done it on you. I think we've done our powers on you. What about you? You already believe in us. Okay, okay. This is all good. It's all looking good. We are currently in the lead, which is nice. Okay, right. Here we go. Uh, well, there are some prayers. Okay, Heavenly Force, your servant needs you. Uh, build a barracks. Okay, so they're saying, would you please build a barracks? Yeah, okay. That sounds like a good thing to do. And over there, this... Oh, there's a person all the way over here. Okay, you... Uh, what would you like? Uh, can we can we click your prayer thing? Uh, you want to build shacks. Okay. So how about we say yes to both of those, and then very slowly but very surely... We shall get some shacks put together and whatever else it was, a barracks. Okay, so over here, um, war tents, watchtower, a mortal protection altar. That sounds good. Protect this settlement from external forces. Um, a yin extraction altar, trade tents. Oh, hang on. What did they want to build? Barracks and build barracks. And they wanted shacks. Okay, well, hang on a minute. Hang on. Maybe over here is where we build regular things. Yeah, here we go. So build shacks. Yeah, we can do that. Absolutely. So, right, get the shacks done. And then hopefully they're going to believe in us a bit more. So there we go. And then maybe over here, can we build a barracks? Have we got enough? Okay, not enough resources available right now. Building will only be planned. That's fine. Absolutely. Get that done, please. Plan that building out and work on it when you can. And then over here, I would like to get like the mortal protection altar set up because that sounds like a good thing to have that sounds like a positive thing to have um there's a basic building and a supporting building okay that's interesting so the different types of building okay look i mean right now let's just work on this place up here although yeah we haven't got much in the way of manor actually we haven't got much in the way of manor to actually do much more okay yeah that's fine how are we looking up here so le yeah they're level one are we supposed to do something? Are we supposed to press a button to level up or something, game? Because I have kind of not... I've kind of not done the tutorial. I did the tutorial on a completely different game, got to the end of it, and then came back and restarted this one. Are we supposed to be doing the tutorial so you make us level up? Because I kind of feel like we should probably have leveled up by now. Um, Hang on, let me go and fly through the tutorial. Maybe that's holding us back from leveling up, possibly. Hang on a second. Let's just go and fly through it nice and quick while it's night time and not much else is happening. Oh, yes. Hang on, though. We do need to actually manipulate this settlement over here by dictating what they're going to dream about and what they're going to do. Um, how about they could, I don't know, send some food. Let's go and send some food to another settlement because that's nice. That's a lovely, happy, friendly thing to do. Um, oh. Okay, I'm just going to click that and see if that helps. I don't know whether that was good or bad. I think they sent some food to themselves, <laughs> possibly. Okay, there we go. That didn't entirely go to plan. Okay, right now, let's go and work our way through the tutorial. Hang on. Okay, so the tutorial is making us come down here and do our kind of spread love thingamajig on these people over here in the kind of the other settlement that we worked on. But that's okay. That's absolutely fine, because if we get more of them over to our side, that's got to be a good thing. So here we go. So let's do a couple of things on you. So how's that change it? And then look, we have our little kind of imp thing popping up. Um, you do get to name the imp, by the way. We've called our imp Bernard, of course. So Bernard the imp. Um, okay, right. So, yep. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Right. Just hurry up and talk, imp. I want to get on with levelling up, please. Okay, so the tutorial is making us do the bad kind of uh, magic powers as well. It wants us to infuse fear in somebody. I guess so it can just, you know, show you the best of both worlds or whatever. Um, so we've gone to a completely different settlement and we're just going to make this person a bit scared. I do apologise. That's not normally how we do things. We were made to do this under duress. Uh, yep, yeah, okay, right, fine. So let's see if we can uh, get rid of the tutorial stuff out of the way. And there we go. I think we have finally, finally leveled up. So benefits for leveling up. We have some new wonders. We can empower, divert, inspire, or oppress. So I think we have seen the bad god doing the oppressing stuff already. Uh, so mana generation per follower goes up by 4%. Distance factor also increases by 4%. So the further away we are from our big kind of thing up on the hill, 
um, up over there, our big kind of wibbly self. The further we are away from that, the more it costs to do some stuff. And now the imp can carry some wood, which is very exciting. So, okay, let's go and have a look at that, shall we? So, right, away from you, tutorial. That can just clear off for a bit. It wants us to fulfill a prayer, even though we know how to do that kind of stuff. So, uh, yeah, let's go and do this now. Let's pick up some tree stuff and we'll put it over here into our settlement. So we press and hold C and then the imp just sort of magics the tree down into nothingness look. And then the imp, our little kind of cursor, is now carrying some wood. So if we then say, okay, let's go and grab, I know, 10 wood. And then I think to drop it off over here, do we right click? Uh, hang on a minute. How do we, uh, hang on, do we do that and then right click? Okay, I'm not entirely sure how we drop the stuff off now. <laughs> How do we, we're carrying a load of stuff. I think we have to click on the center. Oh, there we go, like that look. So we press and hold C and then yeah, we've given this settlement some wood. We've directly gone in and said, there you go, have that. Right, okay, uh, let's go over here then. We'll put the tutorial back on because it wants us to fulfill a prayer. Um, somebody here wants to be inspired. Okay, hang on then. So can we click, it's you just there, is it? Why can't we click on you? Um, hang on, there we go. So uh, yeah, so hear my words, you want to, inspire Izita Ardes. Okay, so that's that person there, is it? Yes, okay, right, so can we please inspire you? There we go, you are inspired. And we did the double inspiration thing. And now we've just completed a, uh, a prayer for that person. We've sort of, you know, we've answered their prayers and now they like us. And there we go, we've now leveled up. Yeah, the game was holding us back. We needed five followers and we've got double that game, come on. On the top left, you can see one icon for each god. Yep, yep, yep. Absolutely, yeah. Okay, right, tutorial. Away with you, tutorial. Please just shush, talky imp. Okay, so night time rolls round again. And yes, we have got some more prayers to actually work on. So how about over here? What is that? Now let's click on the shack. So I want to click on the, ooh, on the click on the person. Hang on a minute. There we go. Uh, so what do they want to do? Build a farm. Okay, that sounds like a good thing. A farm sounds like a good, solid thing to actually build. Um, and then over here, what would you like? Um, ooh. Decide in my favour. Loot a village or outpost. No, 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 I don't want to go looting. That, that's, that's bad. That way bad things happen. No, we're not going to accept your prayer. Oh, no. So they might not believe in us quite as much as they did. However, yeah, let's build a farm. Build a basic building. I assume a farm is over here somewhere. That's, oh, plan a school. A school would be a good thing. That's a graveyard, fertility. Uh, what's that? raise some trees. Not enough yang to do that. We need 50 yang. Um, a residence, some shacks, a tavern. How can we do a farm? Or is a farm, do we need a certain location to do a farm? That is, oh, that's a sort of, ah, hang on. Can we build a mortal protection altar? That does sound like a good thing to have. Or over here, does a farm need to go on a certain sort of plot of land? Does it need to be flat or whatever? I'm not entirely sure. Why can't we build a farm? Why can't we get a farm done? Hang on, what about down here? Can we do a farm down here? Okay, I'm not entirely sure how we go about building a farm. It doesn't seem to be appearing on any of the options whatsoever. Um, okay, maybe we can't do a farm then. That's that's not great, because I just said, yeah, sure, we'll go and do a farm, and now we're not going to do a farm. <laughs> sorry, sorry, people who I said we were going to build a farm for. I do apologise. Um... Yeah, the barracks is still under construction. So that's a prayer that is being worked on. Um, could we shift focus to the barracks? So we can basically say, come on, get on with it, please. There we go. So a bit of mana goes on that. And then can we, can we pick up, are we allowed to do our grabby powers in the night time for the trees? Are we allowed to do that? I don't think we are. You can only collect wood during the day. Okie doke, right, never mind. Um... Okay, let's give them a um let's give them a goal to work toward. How about you what's balance workload do? Have them mind their work life balance. Oh that sounds quite nice. Yeah, just sort of relax for a bit, establish an outpost, increase workload, establish a new village. Yeah, balance your workload. That sounds nice, doesn't it? That's what we do, because we're nice, you see, deceit over there with your rubbish amount of followers. Um okay, and then down here, can we do the same for that down here? Yes, we can. Okay, right, let's go over to here. What can you guys do? Um, yeah, let's reduce your workload. Let's make them relax for a little bit so they can all just you know, chill out for a while. And then over here, let's build them. Oh, let's not build them anything because we haven't got enough mana anymore. 
Okay, so yeah, we've had to work on the other settlement. So this one is not going to be, we can't do too much with this one. Okay, yeah, that's fine. That's okay. That's good. Okay, we've got, oh, we've got 53 yang. Hang on. Hang on. That meant that we could build a thing. What was the thing that we could build with all that yang going on? Um, we could do that. We could plan a mortal protection altar. Let's put that down. Let's get that sort of in place. That's got to be a good thing. Um, yeah, okay, but I think let's skip. Let's skip the night time. So here we go. So we're on day four. There's three days. I thought it said up to day six, but okay. And we've got four, five, and six, I think that means. So now we have 13 followers as opposed to Deceit's 10 followers, which is good. Right, you believe in us already, which is very, very good. Well done. A good choice. Um, you do not. So you still believe in Mother Nature. Well, let's change your mind about that. Um, uh, hang on. Spread love. God, you is main god. Ah, right. So because they're the main god, we can't spread love anymore. But we could inspire you. Let's inspire you and see if you believe in us then. And then we'll empower you as well. Let's make sure that you believe in us. Okay, you don't believe in us. We just gave you all sorts of magic powers, yet you still don't believe in us. <laughs> you silly man. Uh, okay, let's click. Yeah, there are a, there's a few little kind of things going on here that need to be looked at. Um, you want to be inspired. Be by my side. Okay. Where's inspire? That one. Absolutely. Let's inspire you. Hooray. There we go. More belief coming in. That is very good. Okay, this place up here is pretty good. They believe in us quite a lot. Down here might need a little bit more work, I suspect. Can we see who the main kind of god is over here? Okay, so you... Yeah, you believe in... You believe in Mother Nature. Okay, right, let's correct that. So here we go. So yay. Has that worked? Hey, they believe in us now. Wonderful. You believe in us. That person believes in us. That person doesn't. Which is all very foolish. So there we go. A couple more of those. And you still believe in Mother Nature. Let's inspire you as well, just to see if that sways you over to our side. No, it does not. You silly person. Okay, never mind, never mind. Um, are there any other people around here in this settlement? There's, everyone's kind of standing around there very handily. It's very useful. What's this? <laughs> Do we, Can we build an architect's place, please? Because they are building some very dangerous looking kind of structures. I mean, what's happened here? And how is it not falling down? There's some very good foundations on there. Okay, how about you? Uh, Leomus Varrakis. Here we go. Let's do... Let's, let's spread the love with you. Are you going to believe in us? Uh, no. Okay, never mind. What about you over here? We've got 23... 23 mana left. Spread love. Spread love. Are you going to believe in us? Yes, you do. Okay, so another person means, of course, we generate our mana back even quicker. Which is really, really handy. We're about halfway through the day. Okay, so let's now... Uh, let's go and grab, I don't know, some trees. So let's use our magic imp powers to just hoover up a bit of wood. Oh, hang on, I think we left a bit of that tree behind. Hang on. So that's going to go away, I think. Oh no, it's a tiny tree. We don't destroy the tree. We just sort of take most of the wood from it and then it's going to grow back. Okay, that's fine. So I think we can hold up to 25 wood. So if we just give them a massive pile of wood from over here and then we'll do the same in the other settlement... And that's got to be a helpful thing, hasn't it? The other thing is, how on earth did we give it back to them again? Um, was it? Hang on, hang on. Was it? We have to focus on the centre. Village centre. There we go. So we click and then we just drop it off. And look, they're all believing in us. That's more people believing in us because we're obviously dropping off magic resources from up on high, which is all very good. Okay. Oh, um, Spirit in the Sky, I ask only one thing. Empower yourself. Okay. Yeah, you want to be empowered. I accept that. And empower. Yay, there we go. Godlike, you've reached a new level. <gasps> what do we get now? What do we get now? We now get strike with lightning, heal, protect against wonder, fall in love, or unlovable. Why would you use unlovable? That's awful. So now 5% mana generation per follower. Uh, yeah, we can sort of operate a bit further away. Increase maximum wonder level allowed. We can now carry wood and food. Oh, okay, that's very handy. That's quite nice. Um, okay, so hang on. So how does what we're going to do with fall in love? That's an intriguing kind of thing. Fall in love. Love is in the air. The mortal will get some kids tomorrow. Oh, okay, right. It's like that, is it? Uh, okay, right. Yeah, let's do that. There you go. Oh, that's that's lovely. And we can heal you if you are in pain, but you're not. You're okay right now. 
Okay, this is good. How's it going over there? You nasty rubbish god with your terrifying black kind of scary thing happening. Uh, yeah, it's all happy over here. It's all lovely over here. We're having a splendid time. I think it's getting a bit late in the day, so we have picked up some resources. So can we just drop these off over here, please? Can we just drop the wood off over there just so they have a bit more wood so they might go and finish working on the barracks or whatever? Because they do have a you know, building project to be getting on with. In fact, they've got two, haven't they? Because we want them to build the, um, the mortal protection altar thing as well. So they have got a little bit of work to be getting on with, but yeah, it's getting very late. Um, how are we looking down here? Any kind of... Um, any prayers that need answering? No, people seem quite happy. Okay, right, so let's work on this settlement. So what can we get you to do? How about we get you guys to... I don't know, how about you send some wood? Uh, oh, hello. <laughs> you failed? Weak. Oh, okay, I didn't realise you were kind of judging us. Okay, no, that's fine. We didn't deliver your thing, that's right. We didn't deliver the barracks, although we did tell you to build one. It's just that you haven't got round to it yet. I mean, some would say that's kind of your responsibility. Um, okay, this person here, hang on a minute, you there, um, you want to go looting. No, nope, we don't do looting. Oh no, says that person. Yeah, we don't do looting. That, that, that's, uh, follow that path and that's a bad place to go. Right, hang on a minute, hang on. We're over here doing stuff. How about you send some wood to that place there? So that's, the village we were looking at. I think that's our main village that we started looking at. So send some wood over there. Okay, there we go. That's nice look. And we got some more kind of belief out of it and such like. Very good. Um, oh, okay. It, do, do we need to do something else? Okay, just balance your workload then. Oh, a crikey. We can just keep doing as many actions as we'd like. Okay, that's fine. Um, and then build a basic building. Yeah, where are our farms? Um, get the lads get ready for some farm boys and... Ah! Oh, increased fertility is a farm. Okay. <laughs> Hang on, that, that... Is that how that works? <laughs> I, I, I've been to a farm. I don't think that's quite how that works. Okay, right, let's get a farm down here then. So, um, yeah, get the landscape ready for some farm boys and girls. Can build a farm. Okay, let's put that there then. So they're just, what, levelling the ground out or whatever over there. Okay, right, fine. Um, and anybody else got any things they need doing? No, nothing they need doing over there. Okay, right, so back down here. Let's build you something nice. Uh, oh, we haven't got enough mana. Let's not build you anything nice at all, because you're not generating mana, because it's night time. Uh, okay, let's skip night time and go on to the next day. So what have we got? Today and tomorrow, really. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Right, let's go back down here then. Let's see if we can find any uh, any non-believers and show them the one true faith. Believing in us. Us and Bernard, the kind of sparkly thing. Right, okay. Um, you, you believe in Mother Nature, so let's uh, spread the love with you. And we'll do it twice, because we might as well. And do you still believe in... You still believe in Mother Nature, oh dear. Okay, we'll inspire you as well. We'll do some double inspiration to maybe make you believe in us. Still nothing. Okay, crikey, tough crowd. Um, okay, you do believe in us. That's fine. They're okay. We don't have to bother with them. They're all good. Anyone over here? Uh, you don't. Okay, so spread the love with you and spread the love with you. Come on, come on. Believe in us. We just we just made you think of really nice, happy things. How rude. Um, oh, hang on. We have a wish. Um, accept the prayer. I don't know what the prayer is. You've not you've not told me what it is. <laughs> uh. I don't know what... Yes, I'll just say... I'll press accept. Or did we miss the chance? Maybe we missed the chance there. Possibly that went a little bit wrong. Okay, never mind. Right, Ovald. Come on, Ovald. We're spreading the love. We were inspiring you to do many things. Yay, Ovald believes in as well. We've got 20 believers as opposed to deceits. Poultry, 12. Um, okay, right, that's good. So now, I think... Well, can we do anything with this? Can we do anything with this? Do we have powers? I mean, that's us. And we look very... Wibbly, but do we... Can we do anything with this? Uh, sacrifice resources to gain mana. Oh! So we can chuck a tree in there and get some mana back. Well, do you know what? Why don't we just give that a go, shall we? Let's see how that works. There's a tree right there. No one's going to miss that one tree. So then do we just drop it off into... Uh, as the imp still can't... The imp still has 25 wood. 
How does this work then? <laughs> how do we sacrifice the resources? Imp? How do we... Oh, there we go. So we just do that. Oh, and we got five mana from the tree. The bits of wood we chucked in there. Oh, okay. Well, that's quite nice. That's sort of okay. Uh, right, let's uh, let's um let's get some let's get some loving going on. Fall in love. This is all very nice. So you do that. So hooray! Yeah, that person's very happy. Uh, let's also protect you against a wonder, because why not? There we go. Bit of magic power going on, and then down here. Why don't we? Oh, what's that? What is that? Ongoing wonder divert. I don't know what that does, but it doesn't sound very nice. Um. You, let's make you fall in love. Is that going to make you believe in us? And we'll inspire you as well. And then you over here, let's make you fall in love as well. Okay, this is all looking good. This is all looking good. We've got a little bit of mana left. We have got a lot of yang. We've got an awful lot of yang going on. Maybe at some point we could use that to, um, to build something nice. That'd be quite good. Uh, let's empower you, because why not? Let's do that. I think... We have got... I think we can press M for a map, can't we? Yeah, I think that's looking pretty good. I think we've got that place and that place sorted. Do we need to go and visit another... There's our kind of shrine thing. Do we need to visit this place? And get you guys fully on board? I mean, do we know who's here? Um, high mana cost. Um, oh no, God you is the main god down here anyway. Oh. Okay, well, I, we'll just cast Fall in Love then. We'll just we'll just get some of the spells underway. Yay, there we go. Lots of people having fun times. All good. Oh, look, they can build exciting things like gold mines and such like. Yeah, there's a gold kind of pile over there. Uh, there are apparently kind of things you can find around the world, like kind of holy artifacts or something. And if you find them, you can then choose what to do with them. And then maybe you could uh, regenerate some mana that way. Is it worth just trying to find one of these things? I don't quite know what they look like. I can't quite recall in the tutorial. I think they were like a sort of a buried statue type thing. Um, I'll see if I can find one. We might not be fortunate enough, but I'll just have a little sort of scoot about. Okay, I couldn't find any kind of magical artifact thing in the bob, so never mind. Right, we do have some people who are praying, so let's go and have a look over here. So, hello, uh, how are you? Looter village, no, 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 not doing that. That's bad. And then over there, looter village. No, why are you obsessed with, obsessed with looting? Don't do looting. That means you're turning into the bad guys, and nobody likes that kind of stuff. Um, okay, right, over here, what do we want you to do? Um, could we... Um, how about... We, I don't know, increase your workload. Make them work harder so they can do some more building work around the place. So we'll get them to work a bit harder. And then over here, we will say, hey, can we build a new thing? And um, how about you get a tavern? Get yourselves a nice tavern. The other place at the top has got a tavern and that's all very lovely. So there you go. You go and get a tavern as well. That's very nice. And then over here, can we? I mean, we still haven't finished the barracks. Can we... Why are we not focusing on this? Why are we not focusing on the barracks? I mean, we should have... We've got enough wood. Um, resource building points. I don't know what they are. I'm not entirely sure what the resource building points are. Um, we've got enough wood there as well. Ah, we haven't got enough stone over here. Ah, bother. That could be a bit of an issue. That could be a problem. Okay, but... Hang on, hang on. Uh, where was it? If we go over here... Yeah, we could build... What was the thing we saw that needed a load of a load of the stuff? Uh, oh no, that was a farm. I was thinking more the yang. We've got loads of yang. We've got 179 yang points. We might as well spend them on something. Um, okay, okay. This isn't what I thought was happening. Ooh, ooh. Ongoing manipulation. Build. Are they somehow... Oh no, right, okay, I see. They're manipulating the settlement to go and build a particular thing. I mean, yeah, could we not do that? Can we not say, go and get on with building that thing, please? <laughs> please build the thing a bit quicker. Um, we don't seem to have that. We don't have that ability. Um, okay, do you know what? Increase your workload, people over in Euston. Because, yeah, you're, you're slacking a little bit there. So if you could get on with it. And yeah, we've nearly got total belief over here. I see. So the blue wibbly thing around the edge of the town. 22% of people still do believe in Mother Nature and not us, however. Who is this? Own up. Who are the people that are believing in Mother Nature and not us? That's all a little bit rude, isn't it? Um, okay, so I think let's get them to build something. How about a school? That's quite nice. 
let's just pop a school down to just there. And um, yeah, they can slowly but surely work on that as time goes by. Um, so yeah, we're still on yeah 22% Mother Nature. It would be good if we could have like an overlay to see who might be still believing in Mother Nature rather than us. Um, ah, I think the name does tell us. I think you do. Yes, because your name is in orange. So I think you believe in Mother Nature. Okay, right, yeah. So at some point we'll have to work on you. We can't do it right now. Um, okay, I think that will do. That will do for night time. There's not that much to do at night time. So, okay, it's fine. Right, so we'll do that. We'll finish that. The new day starts and we're kind of just following you. Can we, can we click, can we click you? <laughs> can we click you and give you magic powers? Hello, there we go. Right, so we can't do spread the love because uh, we are the main god in this place. But what if we just do some other stuff? What if we heal you? That might make you believe in us. Uh, and then we inspire you. That sounded like you're in quite a lot of pain then. Uh, and then you can fall in love as well. And we have drained quite a lot of our, our mana upon you. Uh, and you're still believing in Mother Nature. I, uh, that's very rude. That's very... How very dare you, sir. Um, okay, that's fine. That's fine. Oh, look, the trees are... So, like, real time is passing, because those trees weren't that big, were they? They weren't that big, because, yeah, that we couldn't see that guy's house if that tree was that big. Okay, that's good. And they're getting on with building the barracks, finally. I think they're actually constructing this. There's somebody there... Who is getting on? Oh, there you go. Building resource building points is just, you know, how near it is to being complete with builders. Okay, that is very good. So they are getting on with things very slowly, but very surely. Um, okay, so can we, can we help out a bit? Can we do some magic kind of grabbing of resources and we drop it off in the main settlement type thing and that will help them out a little bit? Um, yeah, let's get, let's get that tree as well, please. Go on, keep going. It doesn't require mana, does it? We just keep clicking at each time for this one. I think that... Hang on, hang on. How much wood do we have? Because we can... The imp can carry 25. Um, hang on. Can we see? We've got 24. Oh, yeah, there we go. Maxed out. Right, and then over here, I think... Yeah, it's a bit weird as how we drop this off. But there we go. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. We've just dropped off 25 wood with that. Ooh! Ooh! There's fighting happening. Hello? Hello? Who is, who is, oh my goodness me. Uh, heal. Heal you up. Magical healing powers. <laughs> I'll heal you up again in a second. Stop the pain. Oh no, we can't do it. We can't do it again. Can we, is that you? Is that you? Bad person. There is a fight going on. Oh no, I don't know. This is bad. We don't want fights happening. Um, yeah, I can't see who, who's attacking who. Uh, I, I don't really know who's fighting who. Who are the ones that we want to heal? Uh, I'm not entirely sure who we're supposed to be healing and who we're not healing. Somebody is dead. Uh, they're all just... I, I don't know who's fighting who. I'm not entirely sure who's fighting who. I don't want to heal the baddies, of course. Um, I don't really know what's going on there. I'm not entirely sure. However, we do have 28 followers as opposed to Deceit 16. So that's quite good. What about down here? Uh, what are you guys doing? Oh, cracky! The baddies just ran away, did they? Oh, okay. Um, okay, let's uh, let's cast Fall in Love on you because that's quite nice. Um, and then down here, you're just sort of you're just showing off and bashing a shield. Okay, good. <laughs> and then some people have magically appeared out of nowhere. Oh, they're phasing in and out of existence. Who knows what's happening? Uh, we'll cast Fall in Love on you because why wouldn't we? There we go. And. Yeah, they are over here doing some building. They're getting that tavern very slowly but very surely sorted. We'd have a prayer to answer. Hello. Um, inspire that person. Yeah, okay, we can do that. You are inspired. You did it. Awesome. We are quite good. Yes, we are rather splendid. There we go. And another prayer down here. Yep, yeah, hello. Hello, God here listening. How are you? Um, okay, support me in this. Inspire you. Yes. And we'll do that to you as well. There you go. Consider yourself inspired. Also, fall in love. There you go. Consider yourself so inspired that you're going to go and fall in love. That's that's lovely. That's what we want. That's kind of how we want to do things around here. Uh, and then, can we go back up to this settlement? Any prayers to answer over here? I don't think so, but we do have the barracks sorted. So the warriors are going to gain fighting skills. Okay, that's very good. That's very handy indeed. Okay, and a farm can be built here. Oh, 
So we have to kind of plant a field and then we build a farm on top of the field afterwards. Okay, <laughs> a bit strange. Um, okay, right, so you, what is your prayer? You want to inspire yourself? Yep, absolutely. We're on it. There you go. Feel inspired. Go and do something great, Dalius. Uh, and Joe, go and fall in love as well. And consider yourself protected. Because we're doing all sorts of fantastic kind of special stuff. Um, oh, yeah, there you go. Oh, the, de the demo is ending soon. Thanks for playing. We hope you enjoyed it. Um, yeah, okay. So, yeah, it's going to end momentarily, I imagine, when we get to night time, is it? But look, they're still doing stuff. They're still gathering resources and such like. But I think that's it. Farewell, Island. But yeah, it ended 27 to whatever it was, 17. Um, now, I'm going to put a kind of holding screen in the way just here, but the demo does just does completely bin out. It closes the game and chucks you back to desktop. <laughs> Crikeys. Okay. Uh, right. Well, there you go. That was very interesting. That was very interesting. I kind of feel like we didn't really do too much with the other god. We didn't really kind of involve ourselves with them very much. Maybe there was something we could have done that we didn't check out, like, you know, go and disrupt what they were doing. It kind of felt like we were doing our thing on one side of the island. They were doing their thing on the other side of the island, which is fine. That's OK. But I thought maybe we could have interacted a little bit more. It didn't feel quite like we were fighting over the same kind of sets of people. It kind of felt like, yeah, we just did our thing and they did their thing and we just did our thing a little bit better and we ended up with more followers. But um, yeah, that was very interesting. I'm intrigued to see how that develops. And we didn't really, in six days, we didn't get to see kind of the buildings change or anything like that. We didn't really get to see much changing depending on our actions. Because we obviously took lots of the happy actions. It was, yay, nice. We went down the kind of, you know, the nice God route. But um, yeah, kind of I was expecting the buildings to kind of change and maybe become a little bit brighter and sparklier. We possibly should, right at the end, have gone over to look at... Um, to look at the enemy gods' settlements and had a look at those and, you know, checked out if they were looking kind of, you know, twisted or withered or dark or whatever. That would have been interesting. But never mind, never mind. Yeah, we can't go back into it now. There's no save in the demo. It just boots you out. So um, there we go. Very interesting. We shall keep an eye on that because I think if they develop that a bit further, give us a little bit more to do, sort of, you know, in the day and in the night time, you know, sort of give us a little bit more sort of, a little bit more hands-on involvement in what is going on and um, yeah, so yeah, develop it a bit more. I think that could be really good. That could be very, very interesting indeed. Particularly if they can make it sort of multiplayer. So if I could play somebody I knew, that'd be very good. That'd be quite exciting, wouldn't it? So you could have yourself battling against somebody you know for you know, the belief of all of these people. That'd be very good indeed. So um, yeah, we'll keep an eye on it and we'll see how that goes. But yes, we've come to the end of the demo, so we have to finish things up for now. Hopefully you have enjoyed this. If you have, please do leave a like. That would be most marvellous indeed. And also, if you're not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with all the other bits and bobs that we get up to in the Geek Cupboard. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard and I will see you next time. She's still heartbroken. <laughs> She's still sick. Oh, Colleen, you're, it, this is not your day, is it? Sean Bozzini is going to defecate. How's the lounge looking? <laughs> Do you like the plants? I left them there, especially for you guys. <laughs> is there some sort of terrible apocalypse which I need to know about? He's just defecated in a bush.